Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a step-by-step -step tutorial showing you how you can build a beautiful landing page using MailChimp. So right here I am inside of MailChimp. This is my MailChimp dashboard. To actually go ahead and start creating a landing page, all we have to do is click on this create icon in the top left corner. So go to this pencil icon where it says create. And from here, it's now going to ask, what do we actually want to create? We can either create an email, an email automation, or a landing page. So obviously this is the one that we want to go for. So we can click build landing page right here, and we can now create a landing page name. And with this landing page, I am going to be offering people a free ebook in return for their email. So I'm going to title this landing page, uh, marketing ebook lead magnet. It's actually not important at all what you title this. Your customers will never see this. This is just for you inside of MailChimp to distinguish between different landing pages if you create multiple of them. So we can select the landing page and then we can click on begin. And this is now going to ask us to select a template. So we want to choose the one that is going to fit us best. Now, looking at this, I want a very simple lead generation page where I just tell people, hey, this is a marketing book that you get for entering your email. So we can select from one of these templates right here. Once again, it doesn't really matter which one you go for, as all of these are fully customizable. However, what I would recommend is go for the one that you think looks the best, and that's going to give you less work to do. You can just kind of edit this and add around rather than replacing everything in the entire page. So I'm actually going to go for this one right here called Wild Country. We can click into this. And this is the template that we are going to select. Once we select the template, it's then going to bring us over to this area. And this right here is the MailChimp landing page builder. Now it can look kind of overwhelming at first. However, it's actually very simple to use as MailChimp uses a drag and drop editor. So essentially what this means is we can see all of these elements on the left hand side. If we want to add anything into our current landing page, all we have to do is drag and drop it where we want to add this. So let's say that I want to add in an image. All I have to do is go to image right here, click and drag. And then with this little blue line, it's going to show me where I can drop this. So I can drop this image between the title and the email address holder. I can drop this above. I can drop this right there. I can drop this underneath. So we can't drop it in this area if I try to then nothing's going to happen. But if I drop it right here where this blue line is, this image section is going to drop in right here. So anything that you want to add, it's extremely easy to do. And we can just drag in right here. To edit anything that is within the landing page already, all we have to do is click into this and then we can start making changes. So we can see right here, this says wild country. If I click into this, it's going to open up this text box on the right hand side. And this is where I can make my changes. So instead of this saying wild country, I'm actually going to delete this. And then I'm going to say free marketing ebook, just like that. And you can see this text is going to show up within my landing page. Now, if we highlight this text up here at the top, this is where we can change the text to basically look and feel how we want it to. For example, now this is highlighted, I can go into the font and change this to any font that I want to choose from this section. If I want to change this to Arial, then I can do that. And that text is now going to change. We can also change the font size right here between any of these fonts. So we can choose from any of these. I'm actually going to click the undo arrow and set this back to how it was. Now we can also go in and change the font color. So right now it's black, but if I wanted this to be red, then I can select red right there. And that's what the font color is now going to be. We can choose if we want to italicize the text, if we want to underline the text or anything like that. And that is how we can edit the text right there. We can also see that we have this big image right here. And the way that we change this is if we click into this, nothing is going to happen. So the way that we add and select images is by going down to this image section in the bottom left hand corner, clicking on this, and we can now go ahead and change this image. So I'm going to go ahead and just upload an image of my ebook. And as you can see, that ebook is now going to load it. Now with this, I actually want to go and change the text back to black right here. And that looks a lot better. Then at the top, we have this logo that I also want to change. So let's click into this. 
then we can edit this so we can see the logo right here. Let's click on replace. And I'm going to add my own logo in. There we go. The logo is now added in. We have the image display size. So to make this smaller, we just drag this down. And you can see this is starting to look a lot better already. This is starting to look like a professional landing page. On the landing page, we are also going to have this email address section. And we can edit this by once again clicking into this. Let's start out with the fields. So in this section, you can choose whether you want to collect people's first name, last name, address, phone number, or birthday. So the only thing I'm going to turn on is first name. And then we can choose whether this is required. I'm going to turn this on. Another thing that we can do is reorder these boxes. So I want to collect people's first name before I collect their email address. So to do this, we just go over to the fields, click on these three dots right here, and then we can drag them the correct way around. Perfect. We can also scroll down and change the button text right here. So this says subscribe, but I'm going to change this to claim now because I want people to be able to claim this ebook. Then we can go over to style at the top and this is where we can change how this looks. We can edit things like the font that shows up right here. So we can edit the font, we can edit the size, the color, the styles, everything that we want to in this area. We can even make this have rounded corners. So we can see right there, they have rounded corners. We can change the button. So specifically for this button, once again, we can change the font. If I just show you that font has changed. We can change the size of this. We can change the color. We can change the styles and everything that we want to right here. We can even go down and this is the shadow right here. If I want to turn this off, then I can turn the shadow off as well. So we have that right there. The, the only thing that I really want to add is another piece of text in between here telling people to enter their email. So I'm just going to save and close. Then we can grab some more text and I'm just going to drag this in here. And in here, I'm going to say enter, enter your email below to claim your free ebook. Perfect. This really looks how I want it to already. Now, if we scroll down, we have some other sections right here and we can edit these in the same way. We just click in, we can make all of the changes. For images, we can click in and then we have all of these columns. So column one is this image. We can change that right here. Column two is this image. We can choose, we can change that right there. And then column three is this image that we can change. However, I like to keep my landing pages very simple. So all I'm going to do is go down here and just delete all of these sections. So I'm just going to carry on deleting these until they are all, all gone. Now, if your landing page wants to have these, then you absolutely can. But I just don't really see the point. I just prefer to remove everything. All I want people to see is, hey, here is what you're getting. Enter your email. I don't want them to get distracted by any of this down here. So I'm just going to go through and continue to delete all of this. And then once all of that is deleted and I now have my landing page looking how I want it to look. Actually, there's one more thing I want to add here, which is social follow. I can drag this in and link people to my social media as well. So in the social follow, we can select where we want to link people to. So maybe I could go for YouTube right here, then Facebook and Instagram. I could add that in right there. And then all I would have to do is go to the channel URL, paste my YouTube channel in right here, Facebook URL, link to my Facebook page, and then do the same for Instagram. And then once you are happy with your page, all you have to do is click on save and close. And this is now going to be saved. From here, we can now choose the page title and site icon. So how this is going to look up here. Let's click edit title and icon. So I'm happy with the title, but we do want to add like a little icon right here. You see like the, the little monkey for MailChimp and the Google Sheets logo. Well, we want to upload our own. So let's go upload image and then I'm going to upload my logo. Then we can update social share preview. So if you ever sent like an iMessage with a link, you'll know it shows up kind of like this. So we can change what this says. We can change the title, which once again, I like, but then we can add a description as well. And as you can see, as I start typing this out, it's going to update in real time. So I can type that right there and click on save. We can then update the URL that our landing page lives on. So we can go edit URL. Then we can connect a custom domain if you want to. So you just click connect domain and you can connect your domain right here. If you do not yet have a professional domain and you want to get one, then I will leave a link in the description to a video that I created on how to actually do that. But you can link up your domain right there. Or alternatively, we can just go to the back section and we can basically edit this MailChimp link. 
So right now, this is where my landing page lives. This is my URL, but I can go into this back section and I can customize this. Once all of that has been added and everything is set up, all I now have to do is click on publish right here. And that is going to put my landing page live and onto the internet for people now to access. So I can see my link right here. If I copy this and open this up in a new tab, this is my landing page. So I can see the landing page right there. I can enter in my name. I can enter in my email address and I can go through this landing page as a customer. So that is how you can build a landing page using MailChimp. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.